content. It's not, I don't know how to both have all these random like peer to uh, play to earn projects from all over the metaverse in here and also have something thematic that makes a whole lot of sense. Um, and so I, I've been thinking about this and getting a little bit frustrated. Uh, and the other thing that is missing from my ecosystem overall is more complicated trades. Uh, you know, there's not a way right now where I could go trade, you know, a couple of alphas and a beta for your gold foil legendary from Chaos Legion. You know, I could I could pay, you know, the DEC cost on the market for each card individually. But one of the great things about games like this is your ability to sort of make these complicated trades. And we do that in something that that I've heard referenced as a trade binder. So what I what I want to build is a unique world within the Splinterlands ecosystem. And the main purpose is to allow all you DGENs to hang out and trade with each other. Uh, and then, you know, if you look around, there's a lot of NPCs. Those NPCs could represent shops where you could buy or sell objects here in the metaverse. And all of it would be powered by Hive Keychain and all of it would be powered by NFTs that you might own on Hive Engine. Um, so this feels like a way to allow all the players that are hoping to go do more complicated trades and not just more complicated trades, but trustless so that, you know, you know like in those complicated trades, you, you typically need to have somebody sit as escrow for you. And it, and it gets scary because you don't know that everybody in the ecosystem is going to be an honest participant. But if you, if we can do this, man, it just opens up so many doors for us where, you know, you can trade all these items. They don't even have to be part of our game. And to do it, uh, I'm thinking that we create a gamer job like space or an inverse like space. Uh, we make it more thematic to the Splinter Lands. And then I, I want to start selling plots and land in it. And and not not expensive. I'm not I'm not trying to make this thing some like outlandish amount of money, but you know, we gotta figure out some ownership. And you guys could run around and erect the guild buildings, you could put up displays, maybe you could get some statues or some art in here. Um, and it would just be ways that you could go broadcast to the world. Here is here's what we're doing, uh, and and one of the main reasons why all the people would come into this space to begin with is that they want to be able to do trades. So I keep saying something like, "Hey, uh, Pete, why don't you come meet me at the Boar's Head, and we'll go do the trade there." And so Pete and I would both go down to this to this spot. There's a Boar Head there, and then the uh, the two of us could open up a trade finder, and we could do this more complicated trade. And if, and if we can put all of that together where, you know, you have Hive and Hive Engine, you have NFTs, you have trading, you have a variety of fungible tokens, um, I, think, I think it would be really good. And uh, yeah, you could have in ownership, you know, you, you could set up like a little guild hall, you could set up a shop, you know, maybe you make some custom NFTs. And within that, you know, somebody might want to wear a different shirt. You know, I can actually see a whole bunch of these outfits that people are wearing as their own kind of like special, uh, their own special NFTs. So if you want to, if you want to wear Ulrich as a costume or wear Dr. Blight, you actually have to own the NFT. And that means that somebody could go spend a lot of time and money to go make these kinds of costumes and, and cool, uh, cool affects or cool items that, that make you look awesome in this metaverse. And, but then there would also be a limited supply, a way that you could buy and sell them. And then also a market for them at some point. Uh, and later down, we'd start doing things like adding a, uh, an auction house, maybe. So you could go put all these things up for auction. Um, and I just feel like there's a lot of ways that we can do this to make it really awesome, a fun experience, uh, and use some of the best parts of Hive and uh, Inverse to go create, you know, a little bit of something like a second life, but doing it in, uh, in crypto with NFTs and tradability and all the things that we're really excited about. And I like real ownership. Uh, so that's what, that's what I'm, I'm starting to, to kind of think through. Um, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not doing this as like some let's make billions of dollars of, of money kind of project as much as I am. Let's go make like a sweet place where we can all hang out. Uh, and I, you know, it's not to take the place of Digicon because Digicon is perfect for what it's doing. Like let's, let's get all these brands together and, and just showcase these brands and, and sort of a modern neutral convention hall style. Like, I think it's great. But, you know, if you, if you just want to be a trade DJ, and actually one of the things we can do is you can bring <laughs> that, that trade binder into Digicon so that you not only do you log in with your inverse account, but then you have to hook it up to your Hive account. And now you can actually be in here and one of the buttons you could do is trade. And, um, you know, when we're doing Digicon stuff and there's people from other communities and they want to hawk their wares, you know, now they can actually sell the thing. 
right? And, and, it, and it just creates a commercial opportunity for everybody, for all of us to, to engage in free commerce with one another through voluntary interactions. And I think that is infinitely better than, you know, uh, not having the ability to do that. So uh, I don't have a name for this project. It's sort of my metaverse project. Um, I, it, everybody tells me it's super cringy if Aggie says the word metaverse, but I'm saying, uh, <laughs> I'm saying I, it. I'm saying it. And you just need to get over it because uh, that's what everybody in the world recognizes these kind of things as. But I want to build a metaverse. I want to build it for the land, and I want you guys to populate it with businesses and, you know, creative projects that just show off how awesome you are as a collective. I love and that. I think you said it earlier, too. You called. Go ahead. No, that's what I had to say for today. So, um, I, hey, I think all it that's... takes is a bunch of crazy yahoos, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and we already have them. It's all of you. <laughs> all of these people that are here listening, and in this instance, and the other ones, and the people that are filming this, and we'll see it all later, you know, uh, and all the DGENs that we're going to attract from Ethereum, like, we have our community. We have everything we need to pull this off. And, and honestly, if we can if we can tie all these things together with uh, logins and NFTs and trading and all of this stuff, it's going to be awesome. It it's is. Gonna be a yeah, it is. And I just want to say uh, a quick shout out. Crypto Shots, we're coming to you next. Hang tight. I think this was a, a really... Uh, a opportunity we didn't want to miss to just hear Aggie kind of really just mind jam and let it flow on some of the creative aspects that I know that he's been like really spending some time thinking about and how to make it work for everyone that's been a part of kind of this ecosystem and making it what it is because it's really about understanding it in a way that that is really defined by the user base and the community um, and yeah. that's the whole point of this mission right we, we want to do it so that you can take that story and you can take these products that are being created and then tell your own story with it. So that's super exciting. Thank you, Aggie. I really appreciate. Thank you, Aggie. Yeah, really appreciate your time with that. We do need to run and go get uh, with Sniper, uh, the founder of Crypto Shots. will be coming up next. Give us one minute. We're going to go jump ship and head over to the Crypto Shots booth. Waffles, uh, do you want to take us there? Yep. Yeah. I'll be right there. All right, Aggie, thanks again. And everyone, hang tight in just one minute. No, next, we're going to be talking with Sniper, the founder of Crypto Shots. Hang tight. Oh, but before I go, watch this amazing trailer for Splinterfest coming up in Las Vegas. If you haven't gotten your ticket, you should go get it now. Uh, Someone's giving me an accessory. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so me and Sniper are matching now. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right. I think we are ready to go. Uh, Sniper, thank you so much for waiting on us. Aggie, ha he was just flowing. And we, we didn't want to stop him because he was just saying some amazing, never before heard things uh, about some of the vision there. <laughs> Uh, can't can't wait for their VOD to be able to do the rewatch, but we're not, we're, yeah, we're super excited to be here. Uh, Waffles and I, Digicon has been going on for two years. Crypto Shots, you got, this is not your first time here. Um, we're going to pass it over to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, hello, everyone. I hope you're having a great time here at Digicon. It's already the 11th grade. <laughs> so, Crypto Shots. Um, yeah, as, as you said, we've already been here. We were on stage on, uh, on Digicon 9, where we introduced ourselves. And yeah, we've also been joining all the events, in, Digicon events since then. So today I'm going to uh, show you what we worked on since uh, we were on stage uh, back in May. Uh, but let me start with a quick overview for the, for the ones among you that uh, never heard about us. So I'm Sniper. I'm the founder and, and I'm a dev myself for this project. 
um, the first time I started working with the blockchain that was not simply investing in it was with, uh, with the Kiss Defender, uh, that is a good bot on Hive. Uh, I'm passionate about security and uh, that's one of the reasons that, that led me to create it and run it for, for free for almost three years now. If you want a little more info about that, you can watch my, my old uh, presentation uh, at Digicon or the one I just did at uh, Hive Fest that uh, just took place in, in Amsterdam or follow it on uh, it. Today we are here to talk about crypto shots, so let's dig into it with a brief, with a brief introduction. CryptoShots is uh, uh, first the browser-based uh, play-to-earn uh, 3D shooter uh, that was live on uh, Wax and uh, now also on Hive. Uh, we've been around for almost uh, a year. Uh, we started in October last year. Uh, we launched in February and uh, we are currently in, uh, in beta. Uh, mm. Pretty much it means that we let our players break things and report them, hopefully. And uh, yeah, the CSS uh, money on this. <laughs> uh, we have an engaged community of, uh, uh, of 10,000 followers on, on Twitter, 60,000 on, uh, on Discord. Uh, and according to playtour.net, we are 10th uh, on Wax for social popularity and 2nd uh, on Hive after split events. Um, we are self funded, uh, most of the revenue coming from the NFT sales uh, is being reinvested into the game. Uh, we are able to keep building uh, into the, the bear market, unfortunately it's happening, uh, because most of us in the core team have a day job and volunteer our, our time uh, towards our um, long-term uh, goals. Because, yeah, during um, a crypto winter, it's definitely an uh, advantage being a small team without crazy expenses. Most of us, we are volunteering to build a job, even if now we go back to 10k, 14k, we are in a bear market for one year, we are able to get that. Uh, despite not, not having a huge, uh, despite not being backed by huge uh, VCs, uh, uh, we are able. We, we were able to make good numbers. To make good numbers on Wax, uh, we have about two hundred forty thousand uh, dollars in NFT selling volume, and we shoot over uh, one hundred ten thousand dollars to players as uh, game rewards. That's our public data. Some high-level information: on our tech stack. Uh, our game is developed with the Unity uh, using WebGL 2.0, uh, so the scene runs in a web canvas that is also the mm. by all, uh, major browsers. Uh, we recommend Firefox that has a, a much better performance for games. Why do we decide to uh, be browser based? Um, it's true, uh, it doesn't offer the same performance and experience of uh, desktop, uh, desktop games, but at the same time, you can play anywhere you want. You can log in uh, on any machine without having to do a multi uh, gigabytes uh, heavy download. You can play on your friend machine when you visit everyone on the other side of the world. You can play on multiple devices that you own, and so on. It's also safe from hackers. So, for example, a lot of uh, expensive NFTs have recently been stolen from uh, some uh, popular YouTubers that downloaded an executable on their machine and compromised it that way. We are also OS agnostic. Windows, Mac, Linux, doesn't matter. You don't need to wait months for developers to to build uh, a download a world uh, for you uh, for your own. It works on your operating system. With a browser game, you, you don't have issues. You you log into socials, for example, Wax Cloud Wallet, and you're ready to go. Uh, being browser based, it's also easier for us to port the game on a mobile and even in uh, VR browsers. We already have some uh, working prototypes for those. Uh, all right, so these are the shiny things you see uh, on the front. What about the hard stuff that takes place in the, behind the scenes? For our backend, uh, we rely on, uh, on reliable and cloud and uh, uh, scalable cloud uh, services. So that's good because we've never been down in, uh, in almost a year. But that also means that we are not as decentralized as we would like to be. Uh, but we are trying to lean towards that direction. And there are some, um, some steps we are taking in Q4 to uh, to try and, and achieve uh, more of that. This is how the game looks like to our Wax and high players. Level zero, uh, the warehouse were released in February. Level one cargo ship was released uh, right before the GPL 9, so uh, end of May. Uh, the second level, uh, an updated preview is going to be on testnet tomorrow and live for the players in early October. You can check our presentation at Digicon 9 for more new startup info. Uh, let me just uh, give you a quick summary of the goal of the game. Uh, um, we need to kill all the drones on the map, and every time you do so, you earn some tokens, some of our wax tokens, 
token, uh, high or max token. Uh, and the amount depends on the difficulty uh, you're playing with and your NFT inventory. When you lose, you only get one tenth of the rewards uh, of that match. When you win, uh, you get the max plus some rewards, some reward boosts that depend on uh, depends on whether or not you have uh, uh, some some specific NFTs mm -hmm. in your in your wallet, like condensers or even uh, Discord badges. The claim thresholds depends also on how you perform in the game. The default uh, um, uh, claim threshold, uh, the max one is 62 per day. Um, you you can increase to 90 if you win the second level, and you can unlock a, a, a daily claim of 105 if you unlock the champion status. How do you do that? Uh, you have to win at least 80% of your matches for that day, for that gaming session, actually. Um, you need, also need to unlock the fast kill achievement with the four kills in a, in a short sequence of time, and that can happen only in the highest level. And you also need to win at least eight matches in a row in the highest level. Uh, you can get the champion st uh, status if you uh, skip the resource payment to only uh, keep 10% of the rewards. Mm -hmm. Here we have uh, uh, some sneak peeks of the third level. Um, the, uh, the sneak peek NFT holders and the Digicon Fox tomorrow will be able uh, to try for free uh, if they visit our booth before uh, the guild work starts. When you play uh, the third level, you earn our new token uh, Mars, and another way to uh, to get it before the before the third level is out is, what, is uh, with our uh, Discord bot. Um, what are the use cases for for this, this new token? Uh, you will be able to use it for sub subscription, for classic and premium storage. Uh, the classic storage uh, allows you to store in your uh, in a single browser or machine information about uh, your your travels for the day and also your gaming preferences. Uh, the premium storage gives you the same advantages of uh, the classic one. Plus, uh, you can um, data store. Uh, you can resume your session from any machine and browser, and also before you face the final enemy. The ammo of your uh, second most powerful weapon is uh, reset to, to, the, to its initial value. So that's one use case. Then you're also able to use it to purchase uh, ammo or time when you run out. Uh, and you're also able to restore your life with a microtransaction of Mars. Uh, and it's also one of the in, uh, one in the ingredient of, uh, of famous smart contracts that we uh, they already have live on, on the testnet, on the Lux testnet. Uh, well, let's, take, let's take a step back. What if you are a Web2 game dev that want to connect uh, your game to a blockchain? How, how do you do that? Here you go. We released uh, an open source repository with some examples that allow you to, to get a grasp on how to uh, send WAX tokens, send WAX NFTs, uh, patch player NFTs. Uh, and we also did the same for the Hive community. So, and uh, github.com slash crypto shots. Uh, it's our public repository. And here there are also some examples for Hive that allow you to send Hive tokens and Hive NFTs, patch player NFTs, and also scan blocks of the Hive chain to read the uh, custom uh, JSON operation that have been broadcasted by your game or, or other games. It's all in there. We made this public since we had to implement them ourselves for our launch on Hive. And so, yeah, we made them publicly uh, accessible. Uh, what else did you work on for, for our Hive launch that occurred about uh, a month ago? Hive blockchain box. If you are if you are a Hive user um, to start playing, now you only need the starter pack or even better, a mythic pack. Uh, when you open them, you get uh, weapons that are required. Uh, uh, you are required to have them in your wallet in order to be able to pick them up in the game. And you also get characters that give you uh, play time and the ammo uh, that is usually a scarce resource uh, in our for our, uh, in our game, and they allow you to use the weapons against the uh, your enemy. Uh, it's a balance pack, uh, and uh, it allows you to have a good start in the game. Once you open uh, your pack, you see them in, uh, in the in the game inventory. It's uh, the left pick. Um, you can grab uh, our packs uh, uh, or even the single items if you prefer from our from the uh, Hive NFT uh, 3D platform that we developed. Uh, a couple more words on that. Um, if you receive funding from the Hive uh, DAO. Um, it could evolve into something much bigger called the Hive Tonic. It will become a portal that allows uh, Hive users to create NFTs, uh, so create collections of NFTs, unbox packs, manage their assets, and even host their sales. 
the, the idea came to us because some of the features that we ended up developing to support our launch on Hive, we had to work on an NFT minting UI to, is, to issue batch on, of NFTs so we could open it up to the public. We also had to implement our own pack opening system. And unlike uh, uh, other Hive games, uh, um, NFT unbox from the packs, uh, in our case, have meaningful uh, mint numbers. We came up with a solution for that. Plus, uh, um, unlike, unlike WAX, where different NFTs and packs uh, can be under the same collection, on Hive, those had to be separate. So we had to support listing, listing different symbols in our marketplace. That, that also means that now it's relatively easy for us to add new collection and games into our marketplace. We also able to support multiple tokens and add one in, uh, in minutes. So yeah, this could all be broken up for other projects and become something much bigger. So uh, until maybe you get some extra funding from the Hive DAO, if you want to support our work, we still have some Hive packs up for grabs. Our Hive token, uh, there was a small sale and went sold out. Our NFT packs are still, are still up there. Uh, there's only 380 and we want to mint more. The link is hypecritical.com. <laughs> Remaining on the hype topic, uh, what else did we do uh, for our hype launch on, on August 21st? Uh, not only the integration of the hype NFTs, uh, but also uh, we started issuing our own uh, hype token as a gaming award. Uh, shortly after that, we also launched a, a bi directional bridge uh, that allows players to swap our tokens between the hype and Lux chain. Uh, what's currently in progress uh, is uh, a liquidity pool to stake uh, our have token Doom and hold uh, uh, rewards with our token and also other uh, partner uh, tokens. Uh, we also implemented, we also worked on integrating an alternative uh, login method developed by our friend um, Archange, that is a block producer on Hive. Uh, it's already, in, uh, we already have him for type and it's going to go live soon in our main product. Uh, after that, after that, much more is going to, um, will be going on. For example, we're going to become Block producers ourselves on, on Hive, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to issue uh, new tokens for spaceship travel and storage and, and much more. What are our next events? Mm -hmm. uh, next Saturday, uh, some unique items are going to be sold uh, in our uh, marketplace only with Boom. So we'll have spaceship passes, spaceship parts, and more parts. On October 11th, uh, there's going to be a pre sale of our third level with a crazy 50% 50 50 off. Uh, that is accessible only uh, for players that have at least 8,000 uh, in-game uh, boom staked in the game. Um, on the high side, uh, uh, there's going to be the second and third level packs launch in uh, early November, and after that, an option for uh, map parts. Uh, map parts means that the owner, the owner of map part, gets passive income on uh, other player matches. We publish uh, all our stats on, on chain every 15th of the month so that data is public. There's going to be also an option for the Hive spaceship parts. So, for Hive, um, how do spaceship parts give you uh, rewards every month? Uh, it's because to assess uh, the next level when you play, they, uh, players need two things. One, they need, they need the end of level NFT that is unlocked only when they win in uh, hard mode. And two, uh, they need to choose and pay for a spot uh, for a spaceship that they have, they have different cost and different uh, wait time. The owner of a spaceship part gets a cut on those travel fees. It's as simple as that. And the data is part is uh, the public on chain. So what are we working on these days? On top of the tour level uh, release, uh, uh, staking, lending, and secret secret meetings. Uh, we have live on the testnet uh, these three smart contracts. And we are working to integrate them uh, into the game inventory and world section. What are they all about? Uh, staking, uh, you're able to stake, uh, we would be able to stake boom to Mars and to stake Mars to earth gas. And, and the latter is required to play every day, you need to pay uh, to earth gas. Uh, blending, you would be able to blend items into more rare items, uh, and you need to use boom and Mars as uh, ingredients. And also, some of those rare items are going to be required for the third contract that is a uh, Secret weapon meeting. So you send to the smart contract a combination of NFTs uh, with Boom and Mars as a steel as a ingredients. And if you get the combination right, you get uh, a weapon with a reward, a reward multiplier up to uh, 4x, that is automatically minted uh, for you. There will be clues hidden in the map. So you can either find them or you can try your luck and try and use the combinations. Uh, also, our coin NFTs allow you to get. Uh, 
that Nathan Minish write uh, more easily. Uh, whereas is our focus for the last quarter of 2022, uh, we'll uh, resume working on uh, on mobile. Uh, you can see a prototype uh, on the left, uh, already working, and PPP. You can see our first experiment on the right, and then something new. Uh, we're gonna work on survival mode, uh, where uh, we'll broadcast uh, more operations mm -hmm. on the chain, and we'll also introduce uh, randomizations of uh, of rewards without without the game becoming happening. It's gonna be super cool. in mind that uh, there may be variations to the, to the plans or, or delays. We try to use Jira and New Year Conference to organize everything, but um, yeah, priorities may change. Uh, our maturity in, in, the box, in the box space uh, allows mm -hmm. to very to quickly, but priorities uh, may shift over time. To stay up to date with, the, with our releases, uh, monitor our road, roadmap on our website, but most of all, follow our announcements. Do not miss one, uh, join our community. The best way to do so is in Discord or Twitter or following our high blog. Uh, we have a, a tournament, we have a, a, a tournament every month uh, and we uh, do live stream on Twitch. Uh, when you engage in our community on Discord, you automatically get uh, some NFTs that have a value in the game. If you want to get more involved, uh, um, feel free to, to reach out to us. Yeah, we may have some position for you as a side side gig. Some reminders of events that take place uh, in our community every month. Every 15th of the month, we do a uh, food and gas sale. Those are the tokens that we need to, to uh, start playing every day. And the uh, what we earn from, from, that, from the sale of food and gas is burned. Um, we also, on every 15th, we um, distribute the boom interest uh, for people that have left it uh, unclaimed in the game. And we also uh, are drop food based on the the in-game sticky boom. Uh, plus, uh, uh, we also we always send the, um, the special travels rewards and the map art rewards that are, that are our lens. Every 30th for the month instead, there's still the food gas sale, so it's every two weeks. But we also take a snapshot of our leaderboards. And uh, we have uh, now we have new categories. We have uh, monthly top performer, weekly top performer, and uh, OG top performer. Before, so for data, the for uh, the stats that are there since the beginning. So there's going to be challenges on number of kills, on, uh, uh, on boom, amount of boom staked, uh, and best time for, for all the levels. The exact prices will be announced. Uh, and the post position is most likely going to win uh, our scales uh, most. Another reminder, if you uh, can't afford or, or on the other side don't want to risk investing in, in NFTs in the current market, or you simply don't have time to play, you can borrow or lend your assets to other players using our scholarships. It's free, you can come into our Discord and use dedicated channels to request or offer one. Um, we write on chain the parties included in the partnership and the game rewards are automatically split, so there's nothing to worry about. And that's all. Uh, thank you blockchaingaming.com uh, for backing us since the beginning and thank you for our partners. We thank you digital. Is a, is yeah, send some claps and send some love for Sniper and his team. I know this is this is not easy work, and it does require a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in, in some cases, right? Especially That's when amazing. we're trying to trying to convince people from you know, like at least that are trying to support us uh, at the executive level to come in and recognize that we're gaining traction and these communities want to be able to own their in-game assets. Sniper, I just commend you and your team for the work that you're putting there and also talking about this uh, during Digicon where we can bring in lots of communities to just learn more about the other play to earn games that are trying to bring value uh, to the gamers that are out there that want more than just you know time spent in a game, right? They want to actually have something of value after they spend time in there. So we, we unfortunately, we, uh, well, fortunately, um, we have gotten to the end of this session, Sniper. Um, we're, we're out of time. We don't have really have time for any questions. Usually we want to get a question or two Please, in there, but I maybe, get a maybe, code. yeah, maybe Waffles. Um, did you have something you wanted to give or ask him? Oh, Sniper. So is that a free NFT, I see? Like those QR codes right there that you have? Yes, one is for wax, one is for hide. 
That is so awesome. Guys, okay. don't miss out on that. Yeah, sh um, share that screenshot because yeah. right now it's being shared. He is sharing his screen. Right now. So you should be able to get it there. Can we also get that through the uh, slide presentation in the exhibitor booth? Oh, no, it's, it's not in the, in the booth. No. Okay, okay. So it's not in the booth. It's only in his screen share right now. So you don't have very much time if you want to get in there and get that QR code. In fact, let me let me just get a little snapshot real quick of mine on my end. Okay. <laughs> it's probably I think we're good. good. <laughs> and follow uh, Crypto Cowboy. He has been in this booth hosting uh, free demos and giving away tons of stuff. So be sure to check that out. Um, super fun, like trying to learn the game, like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kitty. Someone was asking where can they find the screen share? Look in the upper right of your browser, there's a little play button. If you're on mobile, you have to type, you have to tap the, the gear icon. Uh, and then it'll bring up the menu for the screen share. I haven't been using mobile very much for uh, for inverse um, to get into Digicon. I, I live and play on, on PC, so I'm a desktop guy. Uh, but for anyone who is on mobile, uh, go ahead and get that. Plus, it'll also be in the live stream. So you can just go to the Splinterlands official Twitch channel or YouTube page, and you'll be able to rewatch this. You can get that QR code. You can find it there. Uh, there but you. thank you, uh, the Crypto Shots team. Sniper, any last words of wisdom from you for anyone else that will also trying to develop their own play-to-earn game, or maybe they're a new newcomer to Crypto Shots. Yeah, I would, I would like to say to, for, to people that are trying to build a game in this period to, to keep build, building, that it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay off. Don't give up. It will pay off. I can... I wholeheartedly agree that I, I think this, this community is the right approach with the kind of gaming that allows players to have right ownership and, and can actually see the value that they're putting in to to the game so yeah all right waffles if let's go ahead and head to the next talk and then we can say goodbye to our friends here at crypto shots thank you again they're going to be sticking around here i'm sure uh for anyone else who has any questions for them but we do need to get to our next discussion uh let's go ahead and head over to the schedule i'll put that up on the screen where we're going to head over to our we're going to listen in actually with emp money because aj brockman the CEO over there, he's he has another broadcast that's happening there, but we're going to just jump in and listen into that conversation that's happening there. Uh, thank you again, friends, and we'll see you at the next Digicon. And uh, this is only day two, by the way. There's still a whole other day. Uh, tomorrow, this, this event is still open, so don't think that this is it. We just like to do the live stream on day two. Uh, so I'll be, I'll be right back. Hang tight. Mm -hmm.